Hey, what's going on guys? Clickwood here back again, bringing you another Madden 15 Ultimate Team video. Guys, we are currently 2-1 in one in this head-to-head -head season. Currently in the All Madden Second String Division. We've been stuck here for quite some time, hoping to finally get promoted to the All Madden First String Division this year. But we'll see what we can do. In today's game, guys, we are going up against a guy who is using the New Orleans Saints, and he is actually going to start the game on offense in this one. So uh, starting things off here with a pass over the middle there with Colin Kaepernick. Decent gain there for a first down on the first play. I'm feeling like I, you know, I'm not really that worried about this guy's offense because I looked at the players and he has some decent players, but really like not anything spectacular. Uh, like his Colin Kaepernick was, I think, the 95 Kaepernick or whatever it is, 96, if I remember correctly. Uh, but yeah, it's a decent card, but not anything amazing. So I'm not too worried about him scrambling too much. And right there, we are going to start things off on defense with a big play. Luke Keekley says, gotcha, bitch, and gets that interception. So we are on offense now. And guys, we're going to go with Barry Sanders. A little bit of lag there causing me to be a little bit out of control with Barry. But it's okay because the very next play, Barry Sanders going to hit him with that spin move. And we are off to the races for the touchdown. Our first score of this game, 7 to nothing early in this one. Feeling good about it. And oh man, Marcus Ware could have intercepted that and gone to the house. Thankfully for my opponent at least, Ware doesn't have that great of, of uh, catching attributes. But we do get the sack there and force him into a fourth down where he does have to punt. More lag here, but we are going to overcome it and make a nice pass here back on offense all the way down to about the 15-yard line there to Julio Jones. Next play, it is going to be over the middle to Larry Fitzgerald for a nice pickup. Very, very nice. And then we're going to go back to Fitz in the end zone on the smash wide fade for the touchdown. 14 to nothing, guys. We are starting to run away with this one early, and look at that. Nearly got another sack there on Kaepernick because he is trying to scramble on almost every play. Right here, he dots me over the top, though. I uh, couldn't cover that one quite close enough, so he does get a nice completion there. And then he's going to go back here. Oh, my gosh. He was like a millimeter away from that being a pick six, and instead, it's a huge gain for him there. Moving the ball pretty effectively for himself on this drive, and he's going to make another nice pass here over the middle again. I'm kind of struggling on this drive defensively. Can't really figure out what he wants to do. But he's going to scramble to the right here, and we make a huge hit there. That was Aaron Donald coming from the defensive tackle position to make a big hit. And then we're going to swallow this screen pass up with Luke Keekley. Sets up a fourth and nine here. My opponent's going to go for it. Passing it over the middle here. Oh, my gosh. Again, just barely over the outstretched arms of Luke Keekley with a little bit of alligator arms there. And he's going to make another nice throw here over the middle. But Aaron Donald, again, coming up with a big play, this time in coverage. Aaron Donald making some nice plays. We drop him back into coverage on this one again, and I think that confused him a little bit. So he ends up being in a fourth down here at the 20-yard line, and look at that awful coverage. Eric Weddle, what are you doing? That was man coverage. I probably shouldn't have tested him there and ran the man coverage, but uh, he does get the touchdown there. So instead of it being a 14 to nothing game, it is now 14 to seven. So it's only a one score game, but I definitely feel like I've outplayed my opponent so far. He's gotten really lucky on a couple of passes and uh, probably should have been intercepted a few times now. So hopefully we can continue to move the ball on offense here. Look at Barry Sanders doing work here and he's going to go out for a pass on this play and catch a big one down the field. Nearly broke this one for a touchdown after that broken tackle, but he is going to get taken down at about the 10 yard line. So so first and 10 here, and we're going back to Barry, and look at that. The blocking just developed perfectly on that play. You always love to see that, and Barry gets into the end zone for a touchdown there. 21 to 7 now. About 30 seconds left in the half, and my opponent's got the ball back on offense. Good screen pass there for him on the first play of the drive. Then he's going to go short here in the flat for about a 7-yard pickup, but he really needs to pick up bigger yardage than this, and I know what's coming, and we are going to cover that four verticals pass to the tight end, and Luke Keekley is going to take it to the house. Gotcha, bitch. His second user pick interception in this game, and that puts us up 28 to 7 going into the half. So, coming into the second half, we're going to just try and run out as much clock as we can. Barry Sanders doing a work here on the ground. We've done a really effective job of passing the ball efficiently and not throwing interceptions. Right there, kind of a risky throw. But Calvin Johnson is able to come up with it for the first down. And now we're going to try and go deep to Calvin. Single coverage. Andrew Luck, though, overthrowing him by a mile. 
and the cornerback is able to come up with the interception. Unfortunate for us on that one. Could have gone up four scores, but it is still a three-score lead, so I'm feeling pretty good about it. Oh my goodness, look at that snag by his tight end. Over the middle in double coverage with contact, comes up with it. Good grab there by that tight end, and he's going to try and go deep here. And, oh, Vontae Davis just cannot get the interception. That could have been a big game changer there. But, thankfully, my opponent with a terrible play call here. I don't know what he was doing running the read option there with Colin Kaepernick. Kaepernick's a mobile quarterback, don't get me wrong. But, um, I just don't think that that's maybe the play for that point on the field. Oh, my gosh. Huge pass there, but fumbled it out of bounds. So, he is going to be able to keep the ball. But the very next play, he is going to go over the middle one too many times. Charles Tillman with the interception. That's a player that I've had my eyes on for a long, long time. Very excited to have him on my team. He has great catching attributes and really good zone coverage attributes. So I'm a big, big fan of that card. He fits very, very well into my defense. Other than like the, the 99 overall cornerbacks that are just amazing, Charles Tillman is one of the absolute best, in my opinion, budget-ish cornerbacks that you can find in this game right now. If you run a lot of zone defense and you're not running an all-99 squad, I don't know how you can get away with not having that guy on your team. And as you guys saw there on that drive, we pretty much milked out a ton of clock there with Barry Sanders and then got into the end zone with him. So we're back on defense here with my opponent having one more shot to try and put some points on the board. This game's out of range already for him. He's not going to be able to come up with the game winner in this one, but we got to still try and hold him out of the end zone. You know what I mean? Nice pass there by my opponent on the previous play, and he's going to go deep one too many times here. Chris Harris finally comes up with the interception. That's pretty much the game sealer right there. But you know what? I'm kind of a dick. I'm not even going to lie to you guys. <laughs> Final play of the game. I'm going to try and throw it up into the end zone. Calvin Johnson, touchdown. My opponent didn't really do anything to deserve that. I probably shouldn't have done that, and I kind of feel like a jackass watching it again. But at the same time, though, I'm trying to put up points, man. I I'm doing what I can to just, you know, keep my offense in rhythm. And, and uh, you know, we ran the ball effectively, but he was calling timeouts and everything like that. So, you know what I'm saying? We're just trying to run out the clock, and he was kind of being... Uh but, I mean, I shouldn't say he was being a jerk about it or anything because I don't blame him for trying to put points up at the end of a game or anything. But, uh, yeah. Anyway, that is going to do it for today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please be sure to hit that like button. Of course, subscribe to the channel if you are new. Currently 3-1 and one on the season. Again, we're making that run toward the playoffs. So, I hope you guys will cheer me on as we continue in this head-to-head -head season. Thanks again, guys. Talk to you again soon. Bye-bye.